Hello everyone and welcome to the video. In this video, I am going to show you how you can modify the BIOS of a Dell Optiplex 7010 to be able to boot from, an, from a PCI NVMe SSD. This provides um, a tremendous boost in performance to the machine, um, so it's well worth doing. Now, there is an accompanying blog post on my blog, which I'll link in the description, that goes into detail about all the hardware you need and what software you need. Um, so let's just get on with it. So the first thing you need to do is if you come down to the required software section, um, you can't proceed without installing the Intel management engine components from Dell. First of all, let's go to here and follow this link and install the Intel management components. Now we'll come back to here and we'll download these Intel Management Engine system tools from my blog. And if I just have a look at that, here are the tools here. So I'll just copy that to my C drive from the zip file. We also need an NVMe driver, which I've put on the blog, which is here, which is the tiny six kilobyte file. And then we need UEFI tool to be able to um, modify the BIOS. In fact, I put a direct link here. So let's see that, that's there. First of all, you need to open up a command prompt as an administrator. If I try and use this tool now, which is in Flash Programming tool, so if I try to back up the BIOS, FTP, FPTW64 minus D backup.bin, that should take a dump of the BIOS for us. But as you can see, it says the host CPU does not have read access to the target flash area. And that's because this machine isn't in service mode yet. So what I'm going to do is now shut the machine down, put it into service mode, and then come back to this video when it is in service mode. Now the blog post has got a good guide that shows you how to put it into service mode. And the service mode um, jumper is just above and to the right of the um, RAM slots when you're looking at the machine face on. I put an image of it up there so you can see. Now, you're gonna take this jumper away from the password reset jumper and put it onto this two pin service jumper. And when you do that, that is going to give you an error message that looks like that, um, to say that the password reset jumper has been removed. And you're also gonna get a service mode jumper is set. So just press F1 to continue and boot back into Windows, um, which I'm going to do now. So I'll pause the recording here and then come back to it in a moment. OK, so I rebooted the machine. It's now in service mode. So I can try and go back into a command prompt again. Let's just make the font a bit bigger so that it's easier for you to see. OK. So if I go into the management tools again, and then I'll go into Windows 64, it should now allow us to do fptw64 minus d backup.bin. And this should take a backup of the BIOS, which consists of two chips actually, an eight meg chip and a four meg chip. Okay, so that is the BIOS dumped. So if I go into my downloads and open up UF, UEFI tool, let's just put it here. Okay, now I can open up that image file. And get the backup.bin. So 
now we've got the UEFI UEFI tool open with the BIOS in it. And on this machine, yeah, it's here. So if we go into this section, FV main nested, and open it all up, make that a bit bigger. Let me scroll right down to the bottom of this section. Here you can see I've already put the NVMe driver in. So I'm just going to remove that because yours won't have it. And I'm just going to save the image file. Okay, so now my image file is the same as yours. If I scroll down here, so you want the part that is the last DXE driver where it says OEM link Dell PWD lib. If you right click on here and do insert after, and then in your downloads, you can get this MVM, MVM express DXE underscore small dot FFS. Double click that and you can see here action is insert. So if I now go to file and save image file, I'm going to call this one mvme.bin. And it'll ask me if I want to open the reconstructed file. So I'll say yes to that. Let's just make sure it's there. Main nested. Scroll down, and you can see the MVM Express is in there. So now, in our C drive, we have got, in our Flash programming tool, now we've got two BIOS files, backup.bin and mvme.bin. So we can now write that back. So what I'm going to do is type fptw64 minus bios minus fmvme.bin. And that's going to write the MVME enabled bios back to the machine. And that is it. The NVMe driver is now in the BIOS. And what I suggest you do if you want to do this is um, go back to the blog post, which is in the description, and then carry on with the rest of the steps. Obviously, now you can shut the machine down, take it out of service mode by putting the pin back where it should be um, on the password jumper, um, and then carry on install your NVMe drive. Now, this machine that we're on here, I'm actually remote desktoped to it, so I could record this video. Um, if I just go into Crystal Disk Mark, this is already running an NVMe drive. Okay, now you can see Crystal Disk Mark has finished, and it is absolutely incredible performance when you consider this is a machine that came out in 2012, I think. So good luck with your upgrade. Do take as much care as possible because obviously you could brick the machine if you're not careful, but um, let me know how you get on. I'd be really interested to hear your results.